Shareholders of the Denny's restaurant chain are demanding that that chain leave the National Restaurant Association after Denny's management admitted to investors that restaurant sales growth was actually higher in states like California, Minnesota, and Oregon, where tipped workers are paid a full minimum wage. So the National Restaurant Association argues that the food industry's workforce should suffer from would suffer from a big wage increase. And founder of the Daily Poster, editor at large at Jackman, David Sirotti, joins us now to discuss. David, um, there's been some hilarious things online. I've seen people are like, we can't hire anyone. And then somebody just posts right next to them exactly what their wages are. I think I even saw a story where they raised prices from nine to fifteen dollars an hour, and now they have more um, applicants than they've ever had before. This is a specific Imagine restaurant that. chain. I think it's in Pittsburgh. So just your general reaction to all of this news. Well, look, there's a paradigm that, that where the employers look at raising wages only that it may, uh, in a short term sense, raise a little bit their costs at the margins. There's not necessarily the view that raising wages actually can be a good for business, at least not when they lobby Congress or when they do their public political messaging. But when you actually read what they say to their shareholders, sometimes it's a little different. I mean, we reported previously uh, that many uh, CEOs in pu of publicly traded companies in the service industry were saying, listen, raising the minimum wage, not a big deal to us. Denny's uh, top executive saying actually raising the minimum wage is actually could be good for us. So the point is, is that there's a different way of looking at the economy. There's a there's the a kind of low road way where you say, you know, lower wages equals higher profits, or there's what's known as kind of a high road way where you say higher wages means consumers have more to spend, mm. which means consumers spend more uh, in the service sector at, at your business, which is good for uh, your business, which is good for the economy. Uh, and in this case with Denny's, the shareholders are basically saying, listen, you've told your investors that this is good business when the, when the minimum wage uh, is higher. Uh, you can't then also uh, be funding the leading lobby group that is trying to prevent this wage increase across the country. So the shareholders are the good guys here. The National Restaurant Association, <laughs> that right? I mean, that's what's going on. The National Res Restaurant Association has long had the position, like, we got to keep the wage as low as possible. It's very chamber, sort of like standard issue chamber of commerce, where they're also very bad on unions, all of those predictable positions. And so the shareholders are basically coming in and saying, why are you supporting these guys? This is not actually what you found in running this business that we have invested in. Yes, and the key here is, is that when top executives make comments on earnings calls, uh, that is, uh, those are official statements from the companies uh, governed by securities laws. I mean, they can't just get on an earnings call and kind of lie, right? That's not really allowed under our securities laws. Uh, and so the point is, is that what they're telling their investors is supposed to be what the actual truth is. Now, what they say to politicians, uh, what their lobbyists say, uh, what their lobby groups are saying, uh, that's not governed by security laws. The point being that there's often a gap between what companies tell uh, in a legally binding kind of way to their shareholders versus what they say in the political arena. And at least when it comes to financial statements like this, what they say to those shareholders is supposed to be, is supposed to really carry the weight uh, of actual fact uh, and truth. And that's why this is so important. When when the Denny's top executives said, listen, minimum wage actually was good for us when they, when they said that to their shareholders, I mean, that is a statement that is supposed to be a statement of corporate fact for that corporation. Yeah, really interesting, David. Fascinating report, David. Also, tell people about Daily Poster. I have some big news. Yes, we launched our new website. I hope people will go check it out, dailyposter.com. We are expanding our newsroom, and I hope people, when they check it out, uh, will pitch in and support us. That's awesome. Congrats on the Thank success. You. And um, you've certainly more than owned it, earned it with the fantastic reporting you guys do every week. Everyone should go and subscribe right now. Great to see you, David. Thanks, David. Thanks a ton. Great to see you guys. Mm -hmm. More Rising for you after this.